what happened? I was driving the highway, right? And then suddenly I thought, oh, I just drive in. It's called El Rocio. The road was really bad. I mean, it's not paved at all. Like this. Pot holes. I mean, the whole car sinks in it. I mean, over there, I couldn't even go. But I'll tell you something. People of this El Rocio, there was the festivities of El Rocio. They were celebrating the saint of El Rocio, I suppose. So here on the Sunday, 25th of November, 2018. And the church bell was just going and going and going. So I walked in. And there were some kids. I didn't ask them what it was. So I just went right to the front door. And there was a massive crowd inside. And then suddenly, everyone was just joyful and smiling and absolutely fabulous in spirit of drinks and food and everything. This is the fiesta. This is what we know. We celebrate saints and uh, our, 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 what, what closest to us. But there's something that we have gone too far the drinks I was offered many many drinks I just cannot drink I'm afraid because great gratitude great respect I just couldn't drink because I am driving and they gave me a non-alcoholic drink and I just tasted a little bit of it and it's tastes like beer but it's not beer but I don't want to take a chance and I will never take a chance so I gave it to some kids and the kids were joyful and they said no I'm drinking whiskey hard liquors they don't want the soft beers non-alcoholic stuff this is my non-alcoholic mango juice <laughs> orange and a beautiful bottle of water. This is what I drink. Anyway, a great salute for these people. It's amazing. The hospitality, they embrace me. They cl I took photos with them. It is fantastic. What can I say? The human beings are so perfect. There's something lacking when it comes for our environment and our existence there's nothing wrong with human beings it's just if they were alert to the sensitivity of life these incredible Spanish people of Andalusia the outskirts of further outskirts of Seville I'm going there after 32 years I'm sure the entire city would have changed beyond my eyes. Yet, the little places like this, El Rocio, brings me a connection to life once again. That only if we hold on to these beautiful haciendas or church dormitories or I don't know what it is it's a massive complex we can we can connect with life once again with without a doubt those kids are just perfect they came to me and said good people good people they just wanted to say I presume I'm a good person I suppose is that what they want to say but good and bad is not what we need. Awakening of every life and being able to connect with every life is what is really key about this very experience of life. And I want to say and share that, an incredible experience I've had inside there. As an outsider, walked in, stepped in, and they received me with absolute joy and laughter. And for a moment, the entire atmosphere is so f vibrating. Families together, great parents, friends, 
ancestors, all of the remembering of that was just so alive and full. And I was part of that. That's what you will not experience by explaining about this experience of me. Even a video cannot touch the, the vibrating energy that was transmitted as I walked in amongst all of the people, all I was there, just being in that immersing in with the, the experience. Nothing more, nothing less. It's phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you for drawing me in without a plan to a place that I never knew exist, never saw even on the map. Simply because I took on a turn, a turn for a beautiful experience of my life, which I'm able to share with words in this car under the rainfall, whilst I was sat and talked to the kids and they wanted to speak to me in English and I was struggling with my Spanish. It wasn't the Spanish or the English that connected us. It's my, my, my sincere feeling about life and everything to do with life is what brought me and gave me that experience of phenomenal proportion. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for this, this, to know, to know how to say it. Just feeling fully awake and sensitive to life as we all should be.